Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be jumping back into the world of Black Mesa. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today we're going to be hopping back into the world of Half-Life 1, the Black Mesa remaster. And guys, so far this has been so much fun. You know, you guys know if you've been following the channel, uh, you know, over the last five or six months, you know that Half-Life has really developed a special place in my heart. And, uh, you know, I absolutely loved Half-Life 2 and I'm really enjoying this playthrough already of Half-Life 1, uh, being in Black Mesa and getting some prequel style answers uh, to some questions I've had. Um, and it's been really cool seeing some characters who we have fallen in love with over the last six months uh, playing Half-Life 2. Uh, and I'll tell you what, I'm seeing how this game isn't just, you know, uh, Half-Life 2 light. Uh, really, I mean, the original Half-Life game, this Black Mesa remaster too, uh, really offers a lot of unique original things uh, and already I'm realizing that there are some like alien creatures in this that uh, we didn't see in Half-Life 2, which makes me wonder where they all went. Uh, maybe we got rid of them, I don't know. We've, we've seen the Fortigaunts uh, and unfortunately they don't know who we are. So there, there are, we got kind of a rocky relationship getting started here at first, but we know where it's gonna go eventually. But unless, Unless maybe the Vortigaunts that we saw in Half-Life 2 are just the good ones and there are still some Vortigaunts out there who don't like us, I don't know. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and dive back in. The last time we played uh, Unforeseen Consequences, which is a phrase that gets thrown around the Half-Life universe a lot. Um, and we never got a chance to finish that level. Uh, we'd just been playing it for such a long time. And so where we left off, we got to this point where We've been seeing the aftermath of the explosion and kind of going through the Black Mesa facility. We've realized that we're stuck there because the trams all exploded. And now we walked to the edge of this ledge where we're gonna have to dive down, I think. And you, a lot of you guys during the premiere on YouTube told me that I may have another new enemy that I'm gonna meet. Uh, when I jump down there. So I'm very excited to see what kind of new creature or alien I'm gonna be encountering. I don't know if it's a boss fight or whatever it could be, but we're about to find out. But before we do, let's talk about Patreon. You can get there by going to this link right here. If you wanna hop on over to Patreon and join the Patreon community, you would be doing me a huge favor because for one, you would be helping to financially support the channel, but also you'll be able to take advantage of all kinds of cool things happening over at Patreon as well, like exclusive content, early release videos on free merchandise and all of that fun stuff. And a special thanks goes out to our patrons on Patreon who are helping to make it happen. Uh, we have a nice small list that has gotten started of patrons over there helping to financially support the channel. If you would like to join this list of people and get special mention in every video uh, and proudly say, hey, I'm supporting the early days of Let's Play Easy Mode, then hop on over to Patreon and uh, you can sign up to make it happen over there. Guys, without further ado, let's jump back into Black Mesa. Well, okay guys, we are getting ready to jump back into the world of Black Mesa and pick things up from where we left off. You can see all the carnage from the explosion. Um, here we go. It's getting to resume. Hopefully it's right where we left off. We were right on the edge of that ledge looking down when we saved it. Still in the level of unforeseen consequences. I keep hearing that over and over again throughout this whole Half-Life experience. You can see my computer's thinking about it. <laughs> if you don't have one of these yet, hey, all right, we're right where we need to be. If you don't have one of these yet, make sure to check them out. You can find them in the description down below if you go to the merch store and you'll find t-shirts and cups and things like that. Uh, this is a 14 ounce mug that sells for $14. The Let's Play Easy Mode mug. Coffee tastes better in it. And, uh, and it's awesome because it holds a lot. It's a big cup of coffee, 14 ounces. 
All right, here we go, guys. We are ready to jump off now. Some of you guys said during the premiere uh, on the episode two that um, I was... You can see my health is not super high either. A lot of you guys said that I'm going to potentially encounter a new enemy. Hopefully this crowbar is enough to take him out. Uh, I guess we gotta jump down. I think there's head crabs down there. I saw earlier. Let's go! That, did I just die? From doing that? Okay. So, this whole time I thought I was gonna have to jump down there. And... Now I know that's not the way to go. So... Perhaps it's this. All right, this makes sense. I thought I was gonna have to jump down. Oh my word. All right, here we go. We'll just go over here. And hope that we make it. Ah! Yes, very nice. All right, let's uh, break some crates. Oh, nope, we're loading. Is that the end of the episode? Are we moving into a new chapter now? Are you getting tired of me asking questions? Huh? Okay, maintenance, lower canal. Oh, we, we can go in there. Do we need to... Check this out. Oh, well, there's stuff over here too, but. All right, we'll take it. But let's go see what we have here. Man, I missed that gravity gun. Whoa, sounds like a bullet went by when I hit that. So where do I wanna go? Let's see. I got my gun, got my crowbar, got that, okay. I apologize if the game starts to kind of hiccup a little bit. I am having to play this uh, in, on a laptop that's really, really, really barely able to handle it, but it's my only way to play the game. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we have here. Okay, there's a, now you guys told me that um, that dog thing I saw is that, I don't know if that's what that is down there, but it was called a hound eye. Uh-oh. Oh no, did I just throw, oh, I didn't mean that, I wasted a grenade. Shoot. Maybe I should go down and investigate that ladder over here. Okay, maybe I'll find something cool. Can I break that up? No. Uh, I don't need my flashlight here. Oh, okay. That looks like one of those, um, when I was teleporting in the beginning when the explosion first happened. Oh, goodness! Okay. All right. He's coming after me. All right, you wanna? Got him. All right, there we go. We got him. Wow, look at all of this. I like how it stays on there. That's a nice little detail. It doesn't fade away. Can I 
Will I get hurt if I get near it? No. Oh, nice. Look at that. He splattered everywhere. Uh, oh. Now, one thing that you guys were telling me as well was that I need to keep an eye on these first aid panels. And, uh, and, I, and now I'm going to. I'm going to make sure I keep a better eye on them. The reason why I probably haven't used them as much and I've been missing them is that I do remember them from Half-Life 2. It's just they look different in Half-Life 2. Um, so I, I haven't... I, I kind of trained my eye in Half-Life 2 to look for those particular um, first aid packs on the wall. Can I swim in that? Is that bad for me? I want to fight those things up there. That looks like over there I can I can go. All right. Let's uh We have any more crates? Yep. Let's see if we get anything out of it. Come back. Come back, you. There are a few games on this channel. I mean, all the games I'm playing on this channel I really enjoy. But there's something about being back in this game. I love it. All right, here we go. Ah, there's a ladder. Doesn't really seem to be a lot gained from going underwater. All right, not bad. Uh-oh, someone got hurt. Well? Let's, uh, can't use that. Can't open these up, right? Can't hit the, uh, straps and take the tarp off. Oh, wait, there's something here. Nope. Okay. We can't do that. We have a ladder. A leak. Uh, I don't trust that. I think that's going to get up. Okay, that's it. Another crowbar. Power 15%. Power 30%. You alright there, dude? I mean, obviously not, but... Huh. It looks like this scientist may have used the crowbar or something to uh, kill this zombie. We have a health box there. Look at that. All that spew that it was spewing is still there. That's fantastic. All right. Oh! Automatic medical systems engaged. Morphine administered. Well, now we need it. Here, you get, get out of there. Oh, there's nothing there. Bummer. Oh, that was dumb. Well, here's hoping that, uh, I'm not gonna run into some impossible situation now. Especially since you guys, in the comments, or in the chat of the premiere of the last episode, you guys were like, oh, he's got something coming towards him. 
now I have no idea what to expect. Oh, wait. Unless this was the enemy, it just dawned on me. This is probably what you guys were talking about. Because this isn't... This is that thing that was spewing the green. That's uh, that's not the... Um, what do you call it? Hound Eye. That's right. That's different. So you guys were probably talking about this guy right here. He's cool, though. He kind of looks like something off of, like, Stranger Things. Nope, can't get that open. What are those called, by the way? Let me know down in the comments. You know, that's one thing I always wonder about so many of these games. Um, like, the lo like it's unless it's mentioned in conversation, like, I wouldn't have known that that thing was called a hound eye, you know? Like, like it's it's crazy how, like, you guys know the lore so well. I love it. I love it. I guess I, I need to go to, like, the... When I'm done playing this game, I don't want any spoilers, but I need to go through and read the the wiki pages and all of that. I... Okay, that scared me. I gotcha! Minor lacerations detected. Yep. So, clearly I'm wearing the same kind of suit that I was in Half-Life 2. Okay. Emergency so Oh, that's health package. I was... No, uh... No health. So, for the last, like, five days in this room, we've had a fruit fly that will not go away. It will not die. It's been getting in my face in all of my videos. And I can't, I can never seem to swat it. I'm about ready to name the fruit fly and make it like a mascot of the channel or something. Comment down below for uh, naming the fruit fly. Okay. So that head crab came through with like this green electricity. I wonder if they're still like portaling into our world. What do we have here? This seems uh, puzzling. So I think we clearly need to get to that door over there with the green light blinking. Are we going to have to jump from box to box? Sure looks like it. All right, we can't get in there. Can we get through the... Nope. I mean, it looks like we're supposed to get in there at some point. Maybe we... Go around this way? We have the gravity gun, we can move all kinds of stuff around. That ladder doesn't keep going up, does it? Nope. Well, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get into that... that control room from out here. I was wondering if I would need to get in there and control the uh, these crates. All right. There we 
we go. One by one. This is a little nerve wracking. Um, is there advantages to going down to these ones? Probably not. If I only if I want to get to that door down there, maybe I don't know. Uh, sprinting. Oh, okay. Hold. I, I think. I think I need to press in on the left stick to run. Yeah. Oh, no! I shouldn't have backed up. I should have just committed. Let's see where it puts me. Okay. Man, guys, I can't wait to get a new computer. The problem I've had with playing Black Mesa has been that my... The PC I use to record all my videos on cannot handle playing Black Mesa and running OBS, which is the recording software, at the same time. So the way I figured out how to do this is I have to run a laptop playing the game like a console into a video capture card so that my main PC is just still recording it the way it normally would with the Xbox and PlayStation or whatever. Okay. It's actually nice because that hook uh, kind of helps catch your momentum. So that's what I have to do. But this laptop is like heavy breathing to play this game. I, I so badly want a new computer and I've got my eye on building one because you can get, obviously, as you guys know out there, far more than I do, um, you can really get a lot more bang for the buck if you're willing to build. And a really good friend of mine um, is a great builder of computers. And his, we've priced out all the parts, and uh, it's like 1500 bucks to buy. Like, If I bought this computer in the store, man, it'd be like three grand. Probably more than that, honestly. There we go. But I don't just have $1,500 in my pocket either. So, uh, But once I order these parts, we can get it put together and my computer will more than handle. Actually, at that point with the parts that I have, the PC that I use would actually be more powerful than the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 and all of that. So I could do some serious PC gaming as well. And I would love that for this channel. But I think it's going to take uh, quite a few more patrons on Patreon to make that happen. Right. Nothing jumping out. That's good. Could definitely use some health. I haven't been noticing again. I hope I haven't passed by any uh, health stations. All right. Oops. There we go. It's on the wall here. Oh, correct pickup. <laughs> Got to make sure you're lifting the right way. I was trying to lift that one. There we go. Let's see, there you go. Probably not supposed to do that in the workplace. I haven't really hit too, had too many enemies in this level. Oh! Hound eye, hound eye! All right. A 
Beat you with my crowbar. Wow, look at that thing. Now we can actually just stop and look at it. So, are those... I know it's called a hound eye. So, is that one eyeball with a bunch of, like, things, projectile things on it? Or is are those all a bunch of eyes? Let me know in the comments down below. Nope, can't get in there. So, I'm thinking these things are still teleporting in from the other world. So, we're still in the process of, like, an invasion. Nothing. We need more loot. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a fight going on down here. Ooh, something, something, something. Nope, I thought something was in there. Oh, okay, this is where I, uh... What is that noise? That's so awesome that all that stuff stayed on the wall. I I guess I'm just, for a game that is this old, I, I that's a really cool detail, because not a lot of modern games would do that. <clears throat> it's always, I'm a details guy. I like the details in a game when I... When something doesn't go away, it sounds like... Oh, boy! Hound eye, hound eye, two of them! Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got a problem, and that's at the computer. Uh, I will. Sorry that my PC gets a little, uh, clogged up there. Okay. Okay, wow. That really worked out well for us. Hopefully there's something in here, because we are really low on ammo. What's this over here? There we go. We got a little bit of... Not ammo, I meant health. Um, we can use all the health we can get. keep going guys are we still in unforeseen consequences yeah wow look at that it's a long level which actually gets me excited because that tells me that uh we're gonna be playing this game for a while so cool Ah, office complex. Okay. Now it's a good place to, uh, like, save it, save it. Um, there we go. We'll just, yeah, that's fine. Okay. We got some electricity. So we're in now in the next chapter. What is going on? 
Is that... Hey, guys. Oh, no. That sounded like, like Dr. Kleiner. All right. Well, we can't get in there. I can't bust the window down. We got health, that's good. All right, now in the, in Half-Life 2, I would be looking to see what I could pick up with a grav gun to create something I could like step on to cross over. In this, we're just gonna go through a hole in the wall. And hope there's not a head crab. All right, let's go up there first. <laughs> Peace. Hi. I'm gonna say, how many shots are you gonna take? Can I get anything out of here? Can I bust it open? Nope. All right. Oh, Gordon. If I had known it was you, I would have let you in. Sure. Everybody's heading for the surface. But I think they're crazy. If we stay put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. Right? <laughs> uh, you know, maybe not. Here, let's give it a TV. There we go. All right. Did you hear that? Sure did. You're heading out there? By yourself? May God have mercy on your soul. May God have mercy. Look at that old stereo. You can tell this was a while ago. All right. Let's keep it going. Ooh, what do we got here? Why did I just turn whatever that is off? Oh, because there's uh, electricity. That's why. Now I can cross over. Okay. Nope. Man, I'm having a hard time with uh, keeping health. Keeping my health up. My grandmother used to have a chair like that. Ooh. Can I throw a potted plant through the window? No. Now maybe I can. That's it. You come through here, I'm gonna whack you. All right, never mind. I'm gonna whack ya. All right. Potted plant through the window. What? 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 Oh, there you go. Well, the music's picking up. Not going in there, it's electric. It's electric. There's a head crab back there. 
Oh, wait, no, look. I think I do want to go in there and I can just use the tables. Hmm. What's the merit in doing this? For that, I guarantee you I need to get up there. All right, um, let's go this way first. Oh, can I go in? I can't go in there. Like that. Nope. Nope. All right, I just want to make sure I'm exploring all my options here. Uh Got him. Okay. Oh, it's that poor scientist that we've met a thousand times. Okay. Well, guys, let's continue moving on. I think we're going to have to go crawl over the tables where that in that room we saw with all the electricity, but I can't. Oh, emergency broadcast tones. Now, interesting. The following message is transmitted at the request of local authorities. At 9.47 a.m. Mountain Time, a disaster of unknown type has occurred at the Black Mesa Research Facility. Mm. Seventy five miles. And on site military has been dispatched to provide assistance. Make sure to bring an emergency supply of food, water, clothing, first aid kit, flashlights with extra batteries, and battery powered radios. Follow local evacuation routes, which have been marked by local authorities, and only use one vehicle. Do not return to the warning area until the all Wow, it's really cool hearing that broadcast, just n kind of getting the full scope now of what happened to the world, you know, and what it would have been like. Got him, there we go. Wow, that was that was really cool. I'm glad we didn't miss that. Sometimes I miss I miss things. And I'm also really glad that that didn't explode when I hit it with the crowbar. Nothing for the radio. Man, they uh when they got these chairs, the Black Mesa facility, they definitely They definitely bought them in bulk. No. Ah! Minor lacerations detected. You! You! Ah, uh, those head crabs. I was hoping we'd find some ammo. We need like a security office. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, those things. I 
I think we're still gonna have to work our way back to that room. Oh. Okay then. Hey, hey, over here. I need your help. Hey. What are these little buggers latched onto my buddy's head. <laughs> we gotta get that thing off before. Hey, good news. Help just arrived. Wait. Hey. What? No. Get off of me. Thanks. I owe you one. Uh, here, let me get this open. I, uh, I got some supplies in the back. If you want, uh, go take a look-see. See what you can carry. Okay. It's dark and creepy. You got back here, dude. A lot of soda and chips. Okay. What else is Ooh, shotgun. Yes, please. Well, that's nice. I bet this will bring him down quick. Though, okay. Goodbye. Actually, I want to save that for the heavy duty. I have a bad feeling that that guy's not alive anymore. Oh, look at that. Hi. Don't worry, sir. I'll keep you covered. Oh, are we going together? Oh, that was awkward. I'll secure this area. He coming with me? No? Okay. So, we're probably gonna have to go back. Well, look at this, though. We can go down here. So, where do I want to go? Do I want to... Well, there's stuff to get. I'm going to go down here first and do some exploring. Oh, nice. Okay, he'll shoot him from down there. Okay, good. We got some health. Stuff we can gather. If I had the gravity gun, I would use that pallet to float on water. Okay, there's something over here to grab. Ha! I saw the arrow, so I knew what it, it was just telling me to just push it. There. I may have just been able to jump up here anyway, but... Ah! I see you! All right, now we're talking. Now we are talking. All right. Now I think we need to go back up. And we're going to need to go into that room that had all the electricity. And we're going to have to go over into that vent that we saw. That's my assumption. All right. Godspeed. Hope you're alive. Oh, boy. Hey, why don't you follow me over here? Oh, man. Yep, you come this way. Just let him waste the ammo. That's it. You keep talking trash to him.
There. Okay. All right, uh, once again, thank you. Let's go back to that place, that room we saw. It was over here. We got some health, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna save it really quickly. Office complex. Actually, I should just make a new save. There we go. Oh, I think they're all electrocuted now. So what I need to do is get over there. And bummer. At least you can swing like a crazy person. Well, like I said, it's uh, I've never played Minecraft, but it reminds me of when I see the kids I know who play it, and uh, they're just chopping the tree down like that. How do I get that? I guess I have to get it from the other side. There we go. Ah! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ugh. So now what? Did I... I've been in this area before. Oh, more to... Oh, that's where... Okay. Yep, yeah, that's where we were. But... Now, what does that mean? What are we... Okay. Sorry, buddy. Oh, I guess I could have just gone through the doors. Well, it's fun to go through the window. All right. Um... Where to? Hmm. We walked over here. Do I need to go back through there? I don't think so. I unlocked the door. Where to? Can't go in there. Can't bust the door down. That would be nice if you could do that. Oh, wait. Nope. Hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
Nope, can't go through the floor. Now we've been through there, that's where we got our weapons. Maybe I have to go through again. Alright. Let's uh try this again. Still can't get that. Yeah, I mean that's where that fell down. It's gotta be a way to get over there. Well, maybe I just need to do this. And then keep my eye open. Ah, there's a ladder. Okay. There we go. Nice. We got it, guys. We got it. Oh, I can crawl down. Ah. You know, I never used the crowbar much in Half-Life 2. I just assumed that was like... Uh, turrets? Are they our typical Half-Life portal turrets? Just let it take care of all those head crabs. Oh, I don't know what to do about this. Okay. I'm going to have to make a run for it. Well, we'll let it do its thing here, and then I'll go run over to that door. While I wait, I will take a sip from the Let's Play Easy Mode 14 ounce for $14 mug available at the merch store. You can click the link down in the description below. Come on, Kevin Lockwood. You know you want one. All right, here we go. Ah! Got it. Power it's happening now, guys. We got our our uh, health back up. Maybe there's a way to turn that turret off. Guys, I was laughing so hard. I had a, uh, oh, this is where we were again. Huh. Okay, well. Let's, uh, let's go back up again. And, uh, let's see if there's something else we can do. Oh, yeah, we gotta go run across that way. Um, I was, I was laughing. Ah, there we go. By the way, they do a great job of making this very freaky with the red lights. I was cracking up at just how far I have come in this series, understanding the environment and how it works. I had a comment today, uh, Probably I, I discovered about 20 minutes before I started recording this video, I had someone who uh, is getting caught up on the Half-Life 2 series on the channel. 
and they were watching my first Ravenholm playthrough, and they said exactly what I was afraid of that everybody experienced. They said, it hurts me to watch this guy use a gun instead of the gravity gun. Like, I was using my normal guns and running out of ammo. And it just, it made me laugh so much because I, you know, that level I did a replay of uh, when I realized just what you could do with the gravity gun and the saw blades. And so I did a replay level that pretty much focused mostly on just using the gravity gun. And, of course, it was because of that I was able to uh, use the gravity gun a lot more when I realized what it could do but that just made me laugh you know here we are playing Black Mesa uh, with a crowbar and I started thinking about just all the different ways I learned that you can play a Half-Life game well someone we have someone shooting before people used to worry me because I thought oh it could be the R group or it could be the combine uh, but now, in this game, I, I know if I'm hearing a gunfire from a human, that they're probably a friend. I, uh, I heard screams up ahead. Okay. Uh, you first. Oh, well, aren't we brave? All right, let's, uh... Good shot. Thanks. Watch your head, Doc. Hey, look at that. He got. What the hell are these things? They're head crabs. But you'll get to know that if you live. I gotta keep my eye open for uh, health. I mean, not that I need it right now, but... Fantastic. Okay. Man, this guy was... Killed watching TV. Watching your favorite show. Heavy trails, you poor bastard. Well, that wasn't very nice. Sorry, Doc. Oh shit! Not good. What the crap is that noise? Quick, we need to rescue people. Oh, Vortigaunts! Oh boy! One down. Alright. I don't want to kill you guys. I like you too much. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. We'll get along someday. You're still some of my favorite things about the Half-Life universe. It's too bad. Too bad. Uh, I'll, I have a feeling I need to get up there, but I will do that in a little bit. Let's uh, explore some more here. Makes me wonder if the head crabs come from the same place as the Vortigaunts. See, I'm wondering if maybe, you know, obviously the Vortigaunts, we're, we're all just misunderstood right now. And maybe some of the problems they're having with head crabs and the zombies or whatever, maybe that's happening to them. And so we actually, Oh, there you are. Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. 
Maybe. Ooh. First aid station. Crap. I see you. Oh. Okay. Maybe we actually fight a common enemy, is what I mean. Five bullets. That seems to be... Can't move that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay. Uh... Not sure it's gonna let me in there. Nope. Well, let's go look around. Don't think there's anything to see here. Um. Okay, I was gonna see if I could zoom in, but I can't remember how. I don't want to hit you, I don't want to hurt you, I don't want to hurt you, but I guess I gotta have to. <sighs> Might be time to start leaving the gun out. I'm trying to save my ammo as much as I can. I love you guys, but I will use a shotgun. I love you guys because someday you're gonna you're gonna save my beloved Alex, and for that, even in the prequel time, I will still have a soft spot for you. For Alex. Yes, please. Yes, please. You know, there's probably a health thing right on the wall right around here. I need to look. It's probably right in front of me. Because, I mean, look, that says first aid st station. Don't you think that it would be here? Okay. Well, we may have to hit that later. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, let's get something that we can... Can I step on you? Thanks. Uh, do I step on something else? This, uh... 1980s computer. Come on. Can I not go in there? It just strikes me as something I can do. Maybe I don't need these things. Maybe they're just... Yeah! Okay, maybe if I run... Yeah! No. Maybe if I go like this... Yeah! Huh. 
I mean, it looks like something I should be able to do. Can I use the chair over here? No. Well, let me explore for another second, and then we'll go back to that. Because that feels like that's where I need to go. Um... Getting lost. This, this is where I came up, right? Yeah. I walked in here. Can I take a left? No. I can go in there. All right, so this is... I'm just trying to backtrack, guys, my steps here. Because I, I think it's, it's getting kind of easy to get a little turned around. I feel like that's still where I need to go. In that vent. Can I move this? No. You know, if you follow uh, my playthrough of these Half-Life games, you always know it always comes down to something super simple that I just pass by. So I, I want to check it all. This way? Oh. There we go. See? I have a feeling I got Vortigaunts that are gonna jump back out at me here. Well, what do you know? I'm sorry, but. that elevator can't use that nope water cooler good water cooler discussion hey have you heard of that game half-life I think I already tried this can't get up Well, that's already had a nice snack, hasn't it? What was this one called? Office Complex. Oh, hi! I just overheard a secure access transmission. Soldiers have arrived. They're coming to rescue us. Of course, I have my doubts that we'll live long enough to greet them. No. Don't have doubts. We will get out of here. This looks like a safe place. Oh, yeah. It's got this. Save. More saving. All right, here we go. Are we uh, finishing up Office Complex? Are we continuing to move on here? Let's see. Um, no. Oh. 
Wait, what in the world? <laughs> okay, so we're loading again. So I think we need to be careful. There's a turret up there. Oh, and now we got to load again. Okay. Maybe there's a place we can kind of hide out here. What do we do? This is a little hard because the controls want me to click in the stick, but it's the same stick that I need to look around. Maybe if I wait, it will... Yep. Okay. Run! We made it. Can I stop those things? Nope. All right, we made it. I hear it. I hear it, I hear it. Is that elevator working? I got you. It's just you, so. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. Let's see what we got. Nope. Gotta look at everything, guys. Nothing in there. I mean, I imagine the freaky red light place is where we need to go, but... Nope. What's the purpose of this room? Who knows? All right, here we go. Oh no! Don't do it! Okay. We need more health. Oh, I could have exploded that crate, too. No? No, nothing will get that padlock off? I guess it, it really looks like it should be blown off, doesn't it? But apparently that's just there for decoration. I don't know. Try one last thing. Nope, that didn't even get the padlock off, so. Well, I guess that's just there as a decoration. First aid is in there. Here he goes. All right, there we go. Well, guys, um, I was hoping to finish the chapter. Uh, I have a feeling these chapters are might be a little bit longer than they were in Half-Life 2. Uh, but we're still in Office Complex. That's actually where we're going to end the episode right there. And we will pick it up next time. Well, okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, we finished Unforeseen Consequences, and now we're in the chapter Office Complex. 
And I'll tell you what, the more we dig into the facility of Black Mesa, I mean, there's really not much left of Black Mesa. I think that's gonna be redeemable after this incident. Interestingly enough, we heard the emergency broadcast system come on and we heard that they are evacuating residents now within 75 miles of Black Mesa. Uh, so it's been causing power outages and I would imagine other explosions. It makes me think, you know, there must be a ripple effect out. And, and I got thinking about this too. I, you guys have mentioned in the comments before throughout the playthrough of Half-Life 2 that the event in Black Mesa perhaps may have actually affected uh, the majority of the US um, because Half-Life 2 does not take place in the US, uh, at least according to you guys. Uh, and I haven't, I haven't been going on and reading about lore. I get all of my Half-Life lore from you guys. Um, I really don't want this spoiled for me. So I haven't been getting on and re reading like wiki pages or anything like that. Um, I, I do plan on diving into all kinds of like extra Half-Life stuff just reading about it when I'm done with all with all of this. Uh, just to kind of go back, it'll probably inspire me to do another playthrough of it, but. Um, so from what I understand, it, it, it sounds like if they're only evacuating 75 miles around Black Mesa, maybe was this just a local event or is there still more crap about to hit the fan uh, in this game uh, that's going to affect the greater US? Who knows? Or maybe because we've created this issue now where these alien races are able to teleport in from Black Mesa or into Black Mesa. I mean, is that really what's going to ripple out and affect the rest of the world? Like you just can't stop the influx of these, you know, basically head crabs. Um, well, interestingly enough, we never actually saw when we were in City 17 in the next game, we never actually saw like the hound eye or, um, you know, that other, like, I keep calling it like a demigorgon kind of looking dog thing. You guys will let me know down below what it is, but um, uh, we never really saw those in Half-Life 2. So, I don't know, I don't know. I got a lot of questions still, but guys, I'm really enjoying this game. It's so much fun, just beating all this stuff to death with a with a crowbar, and uh, we're, we're having to use our guns now. Hate having to fight the Vortigaunts, but I get it. That's Those are the, the beginnings of how this all happens, so. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. Will our relationship with the Vortigaunts finally kinda come together? Will we be able to communicate with them before this game is Done. Because as I remember, when Gordon enters into Half-Life 2, you see the Vortigaunts. I, you'll have to remind me, but I don't think it was a kind of situation where we saw the Vortigaunts and we were taken back by the fact they were helping us. So it makes me wonder if uh, we start a good relationship with them during this playthrough. Maybe at some point we finally communicate with them and we can, you know, work together. Uh, to fight the enemy, but who knows? Anyway, guys, I had a blast with this. I hope you did too. I really do. Hope you had a, a great time watching it. Um, if you did, do me a favor, click like on this video just to let other people know they might enjoy it as well. And uh, also, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, come on in. We'd love to have you join the family at Let's Play Easy Mode. Uh, click subscribe and be a part of this community of game appreciators that we're building over here. If you wanna dive in deeper than that, head on over to Patreon. You can go to the link right here and uh, you can join this amazing community of patrons that are helping to keep things afloat over at Let's Play Easy Mode. Obviously, if you've made it to the end of this and you've listened to me rant uh, throughout this playthrough, you know we need a new computer. That's kind of the next big thing that we wanna do. I'd like to get a new webcam and I'd like to get a new computer for the channel, uh, but I can't do that without, well, either I'm gonna win Powerball, but you gotta actually play it first. And then, uh, or I could win Mega Millions, but that would require playing first. I don't buy scratch tickets or, you know, Powerball tickets. But, uh, but you know, one way that you guys could help is actually joining over a Patreon. Or, you know, instead of Patreon, there's also a donate button at the top of the page too on YouTube. If, if you, any of that will go towards putting, uh, you know, a new computer, we'll do that for the channel because 
honestly, that's what we really need to make things that much better. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, no pressure on all that stuff, by the way. I get it. I'm just throwing that out there as options if you want to be a part of things. But if not, I'm so glad you guys are here anyway. Thank you so much for watching my videos and hanging out with me while we play games. Uh, give me those tips and tricks down in the comments down below, and I will talk to you guys another time. But until then, take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.